Hey YouTube, this is Brian from AquaticSupportSystems.com and Brian's Fish Tanks. Today I'm going to do something that I don't typically do, but I'm going to do kind of an unboxing video on the Marineland Emperor uh, Pro 450 Power Filter. Um, they've recently redone it. Um, the old one was a great filter. I've used them in the past, and if any of you have followed my channel for any period of time, you know that um, I'm a big proponent of Marineland filtration. I don't use them as much as I used to because I had to go to an air system just due to the amount of tanks I have in the fish room. I'm somewhere between 35 and 40 tanks, so um, I had to go to an air system. However, before that, I used the Marineland canister filters and the Marineland hang on back filters. I also used the Marineland Magnum HOT filter and the MaxiJet. Uh, power head or I guess wave makers whatever you want to call them so I've got a long history with marine land and most of my tanks in the fish room too are marine land tanks so um, I'm excited to see what they've done with this product full disclosure marine land sent me these filters and a few other items as you can see on the table uh, to test out and do an honest unboxing and an honest review down the road. So today we're going to focus mainly on the unboxing, what my initial thoughts are. I have not opened any of these yet to see what's inside. Um, I'd like to see what uh, changes have been made, whether they be good or bad, and I'll give you my honest first opinion of them. And then um, we'll install it on the tank, and then down the road I'll do another video and let you know how the filter's been performing and what my thoughts are um, weeks, months, whatever it is down the road uh, as far as it goes. So let's start with the unboxing now and uh, we'll, we'll take a look. All right, so you're looking at the box here first of all and uh, as you can see just if you're familiar with the filter um, from first view the exterior is a little bit different, um, although it's still similar to what they've done in the past. Um, this filter, as you can see here, they're rating it for up to 90 gallons. They're calling it an ultra quiet, less than 40 decibels. And we'll just give you some of the highlights on the back here. Um, comes with a filter cartridge. Um, the filter cartridge has the black diamond activated carbon in it. It's got an extra cartridge slot where you can put your type of media. The famous bio wheels um, that Marine Line's known for in their Penguin and Emperor filters. One thing that I believe is new is that they've got the flow control where you can um, turn it up or down. Um, and then they've got the same spillways where the water enters back into the tank. Um, they're calling the impeller an improved impeller. It's also on the exterior of the um, unit instead of on the interior. Um, it used to have kind of a candy cane shaped arm that would go up and in and the impeller was inside there. It's got a mid-level intake and then a bottom intake. I'll show you those more when I take the take it out of the box. It's got this extra media basket. You can see it there. It kind of goes in through the top from what I understand. Spray bars, which it had before. The dual filter chambers. Um, it's got a motor dampener that's supposed to uh, um, you know, help with the uh, with the noise, um, and it's got a hinge lid, which I don't believe. I know the penguins didn't have a hinge lid before, and I'm pretty sure that the emperor did not have a hinge lid. It was just a lid that sit on the top that you would remove. So, anyway, um, let's uh, let's get into this guy. Open the box up here and see what we find. Okay, so as you can see, the instructions uh, that come with it were rubber banded to the top. We're just going to open. First thing you notice is the hinged lid. It's got some um, a sticker with some important information up there. You can see the bio wheels. 
bio wheels may be slightly bigger than before and I'm not sure but I think they're a little bit different color they were I thought I remember them always being white but um, anyway so these are the extra cartridges these are pretty sweet I, I utilize well, the hinges do come off as you can see there but they're easy to get back on I'm having a little bit of a problem balancing this so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this under there um, these media containers are sweet. I used to utilize these before when I did use the Emperor. Um, they open up. Just trying to get them open behind the camera here. Sorry, forget what the. There we go. So I'll show you real quick how it opens. This tab at the top, you just pull it and then they open. So you could put. What I used to do is I used to put um, porous media in here, like Seacom Matrix. You could put carbon if you're into that. You could also put um, like a filter floss material in there as well. So it comes with two of those. And then it comes with, well, here's the equipment for the exterior. And then it comes with two two of the um, the Emperor E-sized um, the cartridges that have the kind of the filter floss. I'm going to open it up along with the uh, activated carbon inside. Myself, when I use these a lot in the past, um, you can kind of hear the carbon in there. Here's the back. I would reuse these because I'm not a big proponent of carbon in my tanks. I do massive water changes on my tanks and I don't need carbon, but um, these worked out well and what I would do is just rinse them off and reuse them. And then when it got to be um, to where these were worn out, I would just glue on um, some filter uh, media, like a filter floss. Marineland does sell a great pre-filter uh, media that would work good in that um, instance, which they sent me a couple of these as well. So, we've got the spray bar here, and then that flow control we talked about before, that's right here. Hopefully you're seeing all this. And then the media basket that we talked about, I believe is down in here, but I'm trying to figure out how to get it out. There we go. Take that off. And I know um, in the picture they're orange, and I've seen a couple other unboxing videos they're orange, but for some reason on this one mine's black which is fine, but this is sweet. It's a like a cone-shaped deal where you can put, um, you can put carbon, I guess, if you'd like. You could stick filter floss in there. What I'm gonna do and what I would do in a situation like this is put porous biological media. Uh, I like to use Seachem Matrix. Um, so I would fill this up with that, stick it in there, and you're gonna have a ton more bio media in addition to the uh, bio wheels that already come with it. Now if you're not familiar with the bio wheel, it's a, uh, I believe it's patented by <coughs> Seachem. It's something that they came up with and basically um, the water flow turns these wheels and it continues to grow bacteria, good bacteria, beneficial bacteria on the uh, wheels and uh, it's going to always keep your tank cycled. All right, so another new feature on this is that the impeller is on the exterior of the unit. Now, at first, I didn't know how I felt about this because I've had other brands that do this before, and what I find happens is it ends up being so heavy that it falls out, and it doesn't work uh, efficiently that way. Now, what I like about the Marineland one is that it actually turns and notches in. So I don't think you're gonna have problems with it falling out. It's got these two pieces that come out here. I don't know if you can see that. 
and so you just put it in and then turn it and then it's locked in which is pretty sweet okay so um, the uh, the intake tube as you can see is telescopic you can adjust it it's got a um, intake strainer down at the bottom and then it's also got a, a, a intake strainer towards the top so that you're taking in water from the top of the water column too and that you can open and close now that's similar to the old emperor and penguin they had that attachment although this tubing was square and it was just a thing that you could open or close um, but so that's the same um, basic concept honestly I will say that the plastic on this unit compared to the old unit is quite a bit softer and doesn't seem quite as durable but we'll give that a test and see the old one had kind of a lot harder plastic um, and this it kind of moves a little bit and stuff um, whereas the old one was a lot more solid but I'm not going to um, make a judgment on that um, until I've actually had a chance to use it. But that's the exterior and what you'll find as far as um, your different options there. So what we'll do next is go ahead and insert and ready the uh, filter for use. All right, now I've just gone ahead and taken the um, top completely off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these with my biomedia in here in the first or in the closest to the bio wheel. And then my cartridges are going to be in the back chamber so that the water goes through the filter floss first hits all this, hits the bio wheel. And actually on this, the bio wheel, one, one thing that's different and always has been between the penguin and the, and the uh, emperor is the penguin, the bio wheel just operates on water flow. The emperor has always had a spray bar um, that sprays water out on the wheel to m ensure that it uh, has you know, a steady stream of water going on it. The one thing that's different is you've got the flow control right here and I'm pretty excited about that too. So um, I won't do it on camera, but I'm gonna add some um, biomedia to that chamber down there that I took out and showed you before. And we're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. It is removable, like I said, but it's hinged so that you don't have to remove it every time you open to service it. And then we're gonna go ahead and hook it up on a tank and show you guys what it looks like when it's running. All right, so we're up on top of the unit now. I've got it uh, plugged in and rolling. Um, the one thing that is nicer about this one than the old one is that since the impeller is on the outside of the unit, it's self-priming. You don't have to fill it up with water first. You just turn it on, it fills itself up with water and starts going. You can see the bio wheels there are going. You've got your spray bar right there. Um, here is the the controller as far as flow intake. You can tell you, I just turned it completely off. Slowly turn it back on and crank it up all the way. So it's working pretty good overall. I'm going to come down and show you what it looks like from the front. You can see the bio wheels rolling, the water coming out, and the unit there. I'm getting a lot of micro bubbles just because the tank isn't filled up all the way. I wanted to be able to show you water coming out of the unit. But um, the intake unit, one thing I will say, I feel that it is a little bit um, less durable than the old one. Um, it comes apart, I thought, kind of easily. I'm just giving you an honest review. The main area was right up here where this part, you can see a line that goes across where it connects to the area where the impeller and motor is. That comes off really easily. So I'm worried 
Um, I keep a lot of big fish, big cichlids like this guy that is in this tank. I am worried that they could easily knock the intake off. If that's the case, then I'm not sure if the impeller would fall out or how that would work. I didn't really research that. Other than that one small item, I think that it's overall a good filter, um, a good upgrade. Um, some of the things are the same, some of the things are different, but as you can see, um, it's working well. And this is gonna be a good workhorse filter like any marine land that I've used in the past. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what it does on the tank. All right, so that's all I've got. Uh, I appreciate you watching my videos. If this is something you like and you wanna see more of, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up and please leave a comment below what you think of this filter, what your experiences is with either this new one or any of the Marineland uh, hang on the back filters uh, that you may have used in the past. And until next time, thanks for watching.